ドゥルルルルドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ Greetings, friends. It is I, Ian Higton, and I'm welcoming you to another episode of Ian's VR Corner, where I check out the latest VR releases right here for your viewing pleasure. And before I get started, while I'm floating here aimlessly in this、uh, barren desert, I'd just like to say hi to our sponsors, the Huawei Honor Play. Take me away, Huawei. Oh, Huawei brought me back then. Movement in zero gravity, grab surface, push to float. Okay, yeah, ooh, yeah that makes sense. So, hello everybody. Yes, welcome to、uh, another episode of Ian's VR Corner. Today I'm playing Downward Spiral Horus Station, and I'm gonna guess that I am currently on board Horus Station. What is this? It's just, it's just a thing.、Uh, yeah, so Horus Station. Is a space station, if you haven't already noticed, and it looks like I control myself quite nicely by grabbing hold of the scenery.、Uh, it's also got blink camera, but、eh, that's fine. Doesn't even matter.、Uh, I don't think you can change that. I had a look in the comfort settings actually, and go down. I'm trying to. There we go.、Um, I had a look in the comfort settings, and there aren't really many comfort settings at all. In fact, the default is zero、um, vignetting around the eyes or anything, so that's pretty nice. And、uh, yeah, controls-wise, you're literally zero gravity, and you can grab anywhere on the、uh, the scenery to kind of propel yourself forwards. It feels like a game that I have played but haven't featured on Ian's VR Corner. The、uh, Planet of the Apes VR game. In the Planet of the Apes VR game, you kind of propel yourself by swinging along like that. It's just like that, except for in the Planet of the Apes game, they had gravity, so you could fall to your death. And in this one, you just kind of, you just kind of glide along. It's nice. We, I'm in freaking space, man. I need to grab something. So I'm playing this sat down at the moment.、Um, I feel like perhaps it would be better played. Stood up just because、um, I feel like you need like a big range of arm movements to be able to grab hold of everything、uh, without smacking into stuff. Like I keep smacking into my sofa, but so far propelling myself around in zero g is fine. And you know what?、Um, I played another game set in zero g for Ian's VR Corner. It was called Detached. It made me feel super sick,、uh, and I don't normally get sick with VR stuff. And this one.、Um, This one isn't making me feel nauseous at all, and I'm putting that down to the fact that perhaps、uh, it's I'm, I'm kind of propelling myself with my own body. Yoink! What's this? Push T button to use item. That's that one. Hey! Oh, that's going to make getting around a little bit easier. Wee! So hopefully now I can. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Oh, I thought it was. I thought. <laughs> I thought it was going to be an ineffectual rod then. And I, you know, this is virtual reality. At least let me have an effective rod in virtual reality. Jesus, that's two rods. Two rods inserted in their uh, respective rod holes. Rod hull. Oh, I'm going to guess the other one's going to be in the battery dispenser with the <laughs> the flashy push button. Let's go find out. Oh, I feel like Spider-Man. Yay! With great power comes great response of space of space of response of space of no fuck it didn't work it didn't work please ignore please please no one ever mention that again I like the um, the designs of the ship it looks nice uh, we got loads of muck textures around here so it feels like we're in a ship that's been lived in and been worked in uh, reminds me uh, in a way of the persistence I'd say. Persistence has slightly better graphics, although the gun model here is is really nice. As with normal PlayStation VR stuff, uh, you you know things look a lot things look really nice when they're close up, but because of the low resolution of the headset, they can get a little bit blurry and fuzzy at a distance. But so far, the game looks quite nice. Oh, I'm getting used to the propelling myself around in space. Actually, Boop. feels it does feel quite nice flinging yourself. It does feel quite nice flinging yourself around the ship. I, I, it, it really does feel like something I'd have seen in a Hollywood uh, space movie starring George Clooney or, uh, you know, other handsome leading men that I resemble physically. So this is a cool little gadget for uh, zipping me along. You can just kind of, every time you tug it, it goes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Are these baddies? So, yeah, as I was saying before, like, you can set it up to have a nice little explore, or you can have a proper, like, you know, some proper threats. Maybe these robots are threats. Can I shoot them? I'm shooting them. I'm just kind of attaching, attaching my length to his a-hole. Is that his front or his back? Is that his nose and his eyes? Is that his nose? I hope it's its nose, because if it's not his nose, it's the other end, and that's going to be embarrassing. Hello. No, I tickled his a-hole. I'm. So there we go, into the captain's seat. This is nice. So actually, the, the blink turn doesn't really bother me too much at the moment. Normally, I prefer smooth turn. Ooh. Oh, I got a torch. Oh. On, off. Boop, boop. Hey, oi, what the fuck? Oi, what's the, ow. What the fuck? Am I at the beginning again? I've got my little, got my little zapper. This is cool. Dual wielding, yeah boy. So I've got a holster that, tug that off. Oh shit. Fuck you, man. Nice. Uh, the explosions seem to be a little bit weak there. I did take some damage, but shooting was shooting was pretty cool. Uh, shooting felt just as satisfying as it normally does in uh, VR games. Can I press the button with... No. Okay, I've got it. There we go. I have no idea what the story is at this game, by the way. As with most Ian's VR Corner episodes, I'm going in completely blind. Um, so you get my first impressions of the game rather than like a, a, a proper, you know, review from someone who's played a game from start to finish. Right, I... Hello? Stick my head in here. I've, I've, I've crossed the boundaries! Was I supposed to be able to do that? Who knows, but I did. What's this? Collectible found, one of 20. God, I hope I can get back out of here. I have a feeling maybe I was supposed to use my, uh, what's it to grab it from a distance. Oh, no, it's fine. I, uh, I managed <laughs> to post myself through the slot. What's that? Hello? Hello? 
I've just found a button on my move controller that makes a radio noise. What's that? First aid. Should we see if I can... Let's see how I first aid myself. I presume... Boop. Lop. Maybe, maybe my health is recharged. That didn't really do anything. Okay. Onwards! The movement really is quite nice at the moment. Quite a gentle float, which isn't too extreme on the senses. The uh, the soundtrack's quite creepy, but I like it. It fits very well with the kind of like haunted space station feel. I don't know if it's haunted or not. I hope it's not fucking haunted. Oh fuck, Paddy's nice. Oh me. Hot shot, Hickton. Fuck you, robot. So another one. Oh yeah. I killed your brothers. Oh man, I'm out. Why can't I shoot them? Do you have like a certain amount of ammo? Oh. I've, I had a certain amount of ammo. I seem to have appeared in a different room. I don't know whether I'm a clone now. Maybe I've been playing too much persistence. I thought I saw one of those flying bots around there. But Oh, there it is. Right, I think that's all the robots done. I'm going to... Ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The gun. Infinite ammo, but it takes a little while to recharge, so... Could have done with knowing that before I engaged multiple hostiles. Nice work, Ian. Objective. Activate command center, huh? That. I'm gonna guess that all of those are just random space tools. Uh, top points to anyone who just shouted out, Ian, you're a random space tool. Reactor? I barely even knew her. Hi -o! Wee! I'm fucking Spider Man. I love the upholstery on these space chairs. It's just so 1970s, man. Can you shoot mugs? You fucking cane. Bleep blop. Bleep blap. Oh. Okay. Has that released any beasts? Doesn't seem to have done. It has opened this door over here though. Whoa. Don't hit your head on space junk. There's a lot of crank handling. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's too stiff. Oh, oh, I need to jerk it really hard to make it... Oh, whew. Oh, there's two ways. Command center. What's that? That's command unit B. And this is command center and maintenance. So this is the, this is the way we're going. Whee! Oh, it's really relaxing floating through it like this. I, I, I like it. It's a nice, nice movement scheme. Oh, this looks very command centery. Look at all the little lights. That's my favourite one, the purple one. What have we got here? What are you? Hello? Can I slot that in somewhere? Access card required. There we go. No? This looks like I need to... There we go. Oh, I... Twisted arm all the way around. All right, Goliath. What the fuck? That sounds bad. You send fucking shitty robots at me. Door access enabled. Fuck your mug. Ooh, what's this here? Is this a new gun? Some kind of new tool. Let's holster that and grab this. What is this? Oh, nice. Horus! Oh, Space Arnie! That's nice. Probably need to try aiming down sights a bit. It's kind of like, kind of hip firing to be honest, but it works. I guess I've not lost any health. I keep fingering that button and just nothing's happening. It's a problem we've all had, I'm sure. There's a lot of these doors, I'm not going to lie. 
you basically there's so many load screens it's basically like you're blinking back in here again I hope this is where I'm going to be going oh we've got more bads ow I thought I killed you I need to kind of take some cover, maybe. This is where the head tracking comes in. So you can kind of lean around objects. Okay, yeah, so I do recharge health after a while, so that's good. Taking cover is good. I'm going to try and... Why can't I shoot my line there? It's because I'm crossing my arms over something, maybe. So, there's one. Oh, that fucker. Where are they going? They're trying to flank me. All right, what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to zip out that way. And I'm going to change my camera. Shoot him as I fly. There we go. Fuck you! I think there's another one. Got him. Oh shit! There's another one. Got him. Take a little rest here quickly. Recharge my health. They're hard to spot because it's so dark. You can change the gamma in this game, but I think it wants you to play it as dark as fuck me. There's a lot of them. As dark as possible. I didn't kill four then, did I? Get that health up. Is that one? No, that's a dead body. Yep, there's two up there. Just see him with a little cool red eyes poking out of the darkness. Here's you oh. I think that one's still alive. Gonna let him hide. I'm gonna zoom around. Here he goes. You robo. Oh look, there we go. Engineering's open. <laughs> Kitty! Oh, shit, there's also a dead dude. Are you alive? Hello? 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 Oh my god. Oh, that's a dead person. At least there's a welcoming kitty here to, to make me feel better. <laughs> Stroke my face, little kitty. Let me forget about the dead person. <laughs> I love you, kitty. So if you're watching this video the day that uh, it goes up, uh, you'll be watching this gameplay, which I am recording on a PlayStation VR. Two days before it actually comes out on the PlayStation VR. This game has actually been out on the PC for a little while now, um, but uh, as regular viewers of Ian's VR Corner will know, uh, I can't throw cans. As regular viewers of Ian's VR Corner will know, um, I only have a PlayStation VR at the moment. These, these, these videos still don't get enough views to warrant me um, being able to blag a Vive and an Oculus and stuff off work. So, um, you know, uh, it's, it's just PSVR coverage at the moment, unless I, I play on something, a special event and things. So... You know, if you if you want the VR coverage to continue and for me be a, for me to be able to do like uh, you know PC stuff like Vive and Oculus, share share this with your friends. Tell everyone. Come along, watch the videos. Let people know that Ian's VR Corner is the premier place to come to watch uh, ridiculous uh, VR videos and to learn about the latest and greatest and newest upcoming games and also I'll tell you if they're shit as well. Uh, let people know, show your friends, please, uh, if you can, help make Ian's VR Corner uh, look more popular because, uh, you know, VR is, is still a struggling thing and uh, the more views we can get on this, the more work will be keen to to invest in VR coverage. So yeah, yeah, do do uh, do share and like and all that stuff if you can. Warning, Goliath protocol activated. Use the airlock to evacuate. Wait, what? Where's the freaking airlock, y'all? Oh, okay. What the fuck is that, man? Oh, that's a Oh shit, that's a bad thing. 
I probably, I don't, I don't know if I should be trying to get inside it. Oh fuck, yeah, it's got a thing. Okay, yeah, that's, alright, we definitely don't want to, got to keep out of its, its vision cone. Fuck! This, this ejects. Oh, this, this Tuggertron needs to tug faster. I mean, I'm not sure how effective a giant floating rotating cannon would be in the center of a spaceship. All I'm saying is, seems like something terrible could go wrong if it was ever activated, like blowing up the entire spaceship. Just a design flaw there, maybe they should have thought about. Okay, we've got BO1 and BO2. I mean, is that a... I'm just kind of heading towards the green, the, the lights. Come on, grab that. Come here. Movement in this now is really, it, apart from having to like reach a little bit, it is becoming almost second nature to me, the whole floaty stuff. So that's good. Oh, can I pull this down? Oh, nice, that's satisfying. Where's the music gone? Oh, we are in space now. Oh, you can kind of hear that because sound doesn't travel in space. So, like, almost all the audio is gone now. Some slight muted stuff. Oh, fuck. That's cool. Coming out of that into, into the vast reaches of space is uh, gives quite the sense of scale to the proceedings. Ooh, I'm in space. Oh, that's a collectible. Come here, collectible. Collector Billy. Oh god. Oh, it's gonna be like that bit in gravity. Hoop! Right, two. They didn't have one of them in gravity though. I don't know where I'm meant to be going, but this is. This is pretty sweet. Up here in spice! Okay, let's just grind my face down. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, my skin! Ah! Oh, oh, fuck! That's. There we go, that's better. Best not cheese grate your face off in space. I've heard it doesn't, it's not the best thing to do. Like that intro piece where I was on Mars, I presume that's Mars. It's got a lake on it, so I don't know. But the intro bit suggests that maybe at some point I'll end up down on the planet below, which is kind of cool. Oh, we're heading over to engineering now. The music started again. La 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 la. This is, this is very, oh, it's, I like this. Quite relaxing. I need to be going down the, uh, the green hole. Fuck. Hoi! Come on. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. I'm close. I'm close as fuck to it. There we go. And... Zoop! In we go. End of act. Fine. Let's continue. I'm blind. Derelict my balls! Okay, so we're back on a space station again. I guess we've got more space station -y puzzles. Conk! I think I'll leave it there. I don't want to spoil too much of this game for you all. Uh, it seems pretty good. Like, I'm interested to play more of this game. It's quite a nice, comfortable experience when compared to uh, Detached, which uh, was a is, was a great looking game, but um, it really kind of it, it closed off a lot of its potential audience by being just so uncomfortable to play. Whereas this, um, yeah, something to do with propelling yourself physically rather than with a, a, a controller um, makes uh, it seem a lot. Uh, a lot nicer to do. I'm enjoying the way you move around. I seem to have got all right with it. I'd say it's definitely worth a buy if uh, you've got a PlayStation VR and you're looking for some kind of like spacey exploration game. There's some kind of mystery here that needs unraveling, I'm sure. 
Yeah, I don't know what else there is to say, really, except for thanks to the Huawei on the Play for sponsoring this video. The Huawei on the Play is a phone made with gaming in mind. So if you like games and you like phones, that seems like the perfect marriage of the two. And you can check out more about that in the video details below. Obviously, I do one of these Ian's VR Corners every Sunday. I won't be doing one next Sunday, though, because it's EGX. Uh, if you're coming to EGX, do come and say hello, especially if you like VR. Come and chat to me about VR. But Ian's VR Corner will be back very soon, um, so don't you worry about that. So like and subscribe for more VR coverage if you want it. Don't forget to tell your friends. And most importantly of all, have a lovely day. Oh, and check out some of these other VR videos that are on screen now. Mm -hmm.